Hi guys and welcome back to Tommy Starcraft. This is your host Tommy with another Starcraft Remastered replay for you guys. And once again we have a great engagement in between two pro players from the South Korean scene. So let me just start by introducing the players to you guys. In the upper part of the map in the green it is Stork. And his opponent is going to be another than spawning here in the white. It is Bisu. So very interesting PvT, a, ni a PvP, excuse me, a nice mirror match here in between these two pro players. The map they're playing on is called Python and it was played on the STL uh, tournament here. So really, really interesting, but um, I sh no, I shouldn't be saying this as I'm not much of a fan of uh, mirror matches. However, this is actually a game in between two of the best processes here in the StarCraft scene. So of course, Bisu and Stork, two of the best uh, in the period of 2010-2015. Both players, of course, from South Korea. Is opening up here with a pylon the same can be said here about stork as we of course have a mirror match the pylon is closer to the base of visu and uh, stork just likes it a little bit more outside perhaps to get a little bit more vision so let's just see what exactly these two players have prepared for us what the unit composition is going to be of course we will very likely be seeing a lot of dragoons Perhaps some Reavers. Reavers are all, of course, very, very strong thanks to their splash damage. Some High Templars with Siren Storm are a possibility. Later on, perhaps some Arbiters, some uh, uh, Carrier gameplay could be an option. Perhaps even Mass Zealots. So a lot of options are indeed uh, possible as both players are sending out their scouts onto the map at the uh, 1 minute and 30 second spot. Of course, they really, really would like to know what exactly their opponents are up to if there's any cheese if there's even a cannon rush coming here but in the end both players are opening up here pretty pretty normal standard stuff here however there is a a nice different strategy here by stork as he goes into a fast double gateway and Bisu actually takes his gas first here with one gateway so interestingly enough this could be indicating to us that uh, stork is going perhaps for a rush with uh, some zealots as his probe is making out uh, the way to to Bisu. Now a nice block here by Stork. So of course Bisu now knows exactly the location from Stork. First zealot is out for him. Perhaps more and more zealots will be spawned as this could turn into a rush. But given the fact that the entrance is indeed a ramp, the Bisu will very likely hold this ramp of course. Already placing here his zealot. Uh, on the ramp perhaps he's going to pull some probes or perhaps he's going to build some pylons in here just to block the ramp and there could be of course a possibility to block the entrance here with an expansion some forge placement some cybernetic score perhaps another gateway so let's just see exactly what he is up to as i see that stork is completely ignoring here the probe from bisu he's not going into a cybernetic score yet so he's just going to pump perhaps indeed yes uh, mass mass zealots here as he's already knocking here at the door from bisu bisu already out with two zealots two probes in the front and i don't think that stork is going to engage here as the position is of course very very bad for him as these two zealots will of course uh, deal massive damage here to uh, the zealots from stork another uh Another zealot is coming in here. We have the first engagement. The f of course, Stork is taking more and more damage. He waits here for his reinforcements. So let's just see if he's going to be able to get a nice position here. Be so very, very nice, pretty micro. The same can be said by Stork. And we have a good engagement here. One zealot already being surrounded. The zealot from Be so nicely macro back. One zealot has fallen here for Stork. And the other zealots already very, very low on their shields. As Be so will very likely. The switch this hurt zealot with the good zealot here so really really great uh, start here by both players especially by stork given the fact that he wishes to be aggressive here so no dragoon play here yet by both players and we have reinforcements once again coming in here by stork so but remember guys that stork has indeed lost already a zealot so first victory here for be so nice placement with those two hurt zealots in the back and Stork just wishes to show his presence here and we have once again a good engagement here by both players just uh, knocking them each other out let's just see one zealot might fall here for Bisu but he's of course ready to uh, micro that one back we have also two gateways here from Bisu perhaps a cybernetic score indeed and we see the first dragoons out on the map Bisu even making a uh, way for them so Stork needs of course to uh, back up now as the dragoons are of course faster they are ranged unit here but he needs to be careful one might get surrounded 
of course Bisu is going to kite them back back and forward and just uh, secure his advantage here even killing here the probe so really, really good early aggression here by stork Bisu fends this off he might take out a zealot here but no in the end he's just pushing here stork back as a stork of course is coming in here with his dragoons so we have a cat and mouse place here by both players in the end things are finally settling down so perhaps right now the decision would be very good here for beast or even for stork to go for an expansion so both players uh, have fought it out uh, in the end uh, stork losing one zealot really really good engagement here by him showing that he's fearless he does he respects Bisu, of course but he doesn't uh, fear him so really really good stuff here by him it could have been even a greater job if uh, Bisu would have gone straight into dragoons of course the zealots early on could have made it here up that ramp and caused a lot of chaos to those probes we ha also have the first robotics facility so pretty standard stuff here by Bisu. I'm pretty sure that Stork also has his one. As uh, this building can produce, of course, shuttles with uh, Reavers. Reavers are a really, really important unit here for the Protoss. Of course, they can deal massive amounts of splash damage here against those Dragoons and Zealots. Nice placement here by this pylon. Just to secure him, just to give him vision exactly when a drop might come in here. The same can be said by Stork, so both players are showing us how good they are with their main race here. The first observer is actually out here by Stork. Let's just have a look if uh, Bisu has one. Oh, he's uh, perhaps going straight into Reavers in here. He also has his observatory a little bit late. His shuttle is out and his first Reaver is also uh, being produced here. Bisu sends another scout in here just to see perhaps if uh, Stork has expanded but stork just denies him any vision and will very likely here expand of course and secure his expansion so both players all of a sudden went into very defensive gameplays the position here is really really good for bisu the same can be said here by stork bisu however with a faster shuttle with that reaver he of course waits for his first reaver perhaps the second reaver no he's just going into an observer another gateway is being built while the observer here from stork make his way into the main from bisu so gives uh, vital information here for uh, stork when exactly a move out is going to come so he's even going to prepare his army here just perhaps to snipe this uh, shuttle here so first engagement of course bisu tries to focus the army from stork into this main army and perhaps leave this shuttle here with this river just to kill some probes perhaps in the back but there's also a river here by shuttle so really really nice stuff here by both players nice timings perhaps the timing a little bit better here by bisu and here we go great engagement here the river has dropped the second river as well great microing here with that shuttle gameplay by both players nice splash damage here both players are just microing those rivers out of the ordinary finally more and more splash damage is being dealt the dragoons are fighting it out against the dragoons the zealots have fallen good connections here by bisu with this uh, river but the river from uh, stork is of course very very nicely micro and now on the upper ground he didn't take any damage so a very very nice engagement here by both players perhaps bisu with one dragoon more killed here than stork let's just have a look bisu still has no expansion the same can be said here by stork a good good engagement however bisu now with his three dragoons already with his reinforcements of two dragoons but stork with uh, two rivers here will of course and this off as fast as possible dealing so much uh, uh, good uh, splash damage here against uh, stork let's have a look this could be another nice drop here some robes might get uh, attacked by this river ball but they don't take any any damage of course so really, really nice reaction here by stork spending this off knowing that something would have come so leaving his dragoons here in the back as once again bisu decides to pull back a little bit and his dragoons are also on retreat so really, really good once again engagement here by both players as stork of course uh, decides to expand i'm pretty sure that bisu will also decide this pretty soon as we are closing in at the 10 minute mark here so pretty pretty good stuff here very very nicely balanced stork at 31 probes versus the 29 here from bisu army wise also very very close uh, bisu having a little bit more supply here than 
stork notice that none of these two glorious are making zealots right now they're going straight into mass dragoons here and reavers of course upgrade wise we have zero 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 and the 10 minute mark has been passed from as the observer says so let's just see what exactly the difference is going to be once again nice observers here from uh stork seeing this uh shuttle here so he's ready to pull his drones back some drones have fallen sadly for him but in the end of course he's able to push this back with some dragoons here so one zealot here in the front but more and more dragoons will follow of course as uh, stork already waits his opponent with those rivers down the first river shots are of course very very important and here we go another engagement here the zealot has already fallen good connection here by both players the dragoons have fallen but these rivers will of course deal also massive massive splash damage here against bisu so a good engagement here by stork bisu taking lots of damage but somehow he's able to hold and once again a stork is being left with his dragoons but he also has this shield belt but a nice last uh, connection here by bisu killing all of those rivers so really really great stuff here by him and this could be a winning move now here by him as he enters the main from stork here he could drop of course his forces here and deal massive amounts of splash damage so let's just have a look does he get a connection no but that last uh, river uh, hit from this shuttle Killing those two rivers here by Stork. Very, very nice and strong uh, stuff here by Bisum. Even the shield battery couldn't heal the rivers as fast. Up, so really, really good stuff here by him. And perhaps a little bit unlucky here for Stork. As that last, the last two shots just killed his rivers. In the end, the reinforcements are of course coming in. Stork still holds strong. He has a good economy. Bisu has four uh, workers more than him, but in the end it is still very very balanced if you look at the uh, supply count for both players so perhaps bisu is going to try and need another drop in here this could be a better position here for him but stork very very fast on that reaction and one reaver sadly for bisu is being left behind as he's going to lose one reaver and didn't deal that much damage however much more aggressive here gameplay here by bisu he stays here in the front just to see in any case if an army move out is going to be one zealot is of course being uh, produced here by the protoss perhaps this one zealot should soak up the first river shots as they are very very important just to soak that first out damage and then the dragoons would would hit so stork once again is being very confident here in comes the, the dragoon a scouting dragoon but perhaps it could be a bad rally here for beast as he loses of course this uh, dragoon he needs to position once again his uh, forces really really nice there are some nice observers here two rivers in the front so the flag i told you the first shots are very very important here for him this one pile and even soaking up the first shots and once again here we go the rivers are being targeted the rivers with great damage now the shuttle is being targeted by bisu and this means that these rivers will of course very likely fall but somehow stork deals so much damage here against bisu and only the reinforcements now will uh, help Bisu out the shuttle from Bisu has also fallen so in the end Stork leaves his place here with two dragoons with one reaver and he looks very very confident here in comes the reaver from Bisu and he will of course have the high ground so he should be fine he goes straight for the other reaver and now it's just a couple of dragoons of course he's going to try to kill as many probes as possible here so really really nice engagement here by both players perhaps this time Stork came off of course a little bit stronger He's even able to kill some uh, rogues here from Bisu. But Bisu should recover, of course, as they're both once again at 36 workers. Uh, reinforcements are pouring in here for Stork, but he needs to find once again a great engagement. And remember, Bisu has that Reaver. Stork doesn't have the Reaver yet out, as the shuttles have been killed. So I don't think it's a good idea here for Stork to come in. He needs, of course, to wait for his uh, shuttle, for his Reavers so once again things are settling of course down uh, stork decides to pull back as bisu just decides to hold his position here rivers are out no shuttle yet here for uh, bisu as i'm pretty sure he's going into those sh much much needed shuttle to just micro those rivers out of those uh, damage here stork in the middle of the map showing his presence well it's going to be of course very very defensive as it even has this nice observer here 
just to see in any case if there is an army move out here by Bison. Indeed, he's moving out. These two rivers will, of course, be very likely picked up by a shuttle. There's that shuttle. The shuttle from Stork should also come out pretty, pretty soon. There's two rivers here for him. Lots of dragoons here. We passed the 15 minute mark. Let's have a look at those upgrades. Zero to zero. Let's have a look at Stork. Also zero to zero. So none of the players are opting to upgrade their units. We have shuttle speed now being made here from Bisu. And we have a nice B line here from Stork. Waiting on engagement. Once again, this could be a good position here for Bisu. So here he comes. Let's just see how fast Stork is going to react. The first, it's actually a zealot here just to cause some panic here so a good uh, reaction here by stork of course but it was just a scare here by bisu with that zealot bisu is in the middle of the map these observers are really really nice here for stork all over the base here from bisu we have such a balanced game here indeed 104 supply all of a sudden for stork versus the 98 here for uh, bisu as stork once again decides to move out here he might take out this river so Bisu needs to be very very carefully sadly for him this river has fallen so this is a huge uh, advantage now for Stork Stork is moving on this shuttle is very very much needed here for uh, Bisu all of a sudden Bisu goes into some zealots without um, zealot legs so let's just see Stork also having some zealots but only three here and there's actually massive amounts here of uh, zealots here for uh, Bisu so he decides to change his tactic, not going for that many dragoons, he's going for zealots. Now zealots speed lag has been upgraded, of course. And let's just see exactly if this was a good decision here by Bisu. Bisu also having this shuttle with those two rivers. The same can be said about Stork. But the account from zealots for Bisu is much higher here than from Storks. And here we go, another good engagement. Zealots are in the front, they will soak up the first damage here. The rivers go however straight for those dragoons, a massive amount of splashes, uh, left and right, so much damage going on. Good micro here by both player, good micro here by uh, Stork, same those rivers, once again good splash damage here for Bisu. So a very balanced engagement here, the zealots have fallen now, it's just a couple of dragoons left. However only one river here for Stork, as we have two rivers here still standing for uh, Bisu. So really good engagement, I don't see his shuttle yet, so perhaps the shuttle has been taken out, but this shuttle of course with that one river will be able to hold this position if Michael back on this upper ledge, given the shield battery healing this uh, river as fast as much as possible uh, up. So with some sh advantage here for Bisu, he has of course a shuttle sh a speed being done. His zealots did soak up the first shots from those reavers while the reavers from uh, Bisu dealt that splash damage to the dragoons and later on of course to the reavers as well. So pretty pretty good uh, stuff here by both players actually. As we slowly and steadily we are closing at the 20 minute mark a very very interesting mirror match like I told you I'm not much of a fan I should be saying this I'm not much of a fan of mirror matches but these two players are of course the best in their business the best protosses we have. Let's just see once again. Both players are recovering. However, the statistic shows to us once again that Bisu has 81 supply versus just a 78 here. Uh, Stork still not having shuttle speed made up, while Bisu is, is much, much, much faster here. Stork knows that another drop is very likely going to come in here, but he's prepared with those dragoons. So once again, he holds this attack off. Bisu scouting, of course, this uh, placement, this expansion. The same can be said here by Stork. Stork really, really nice playing here with his observers, while Bisu actually has no observers here in the expansion, in the main here from uh, uh, Stork. So really interesting. Only leaves one here in the middle of the map. While Stork already adds three uh, observers, so Stork very playing it very, very carefully, very, very calculated here by him, as we once again have an engagement once again more dragoons here both for stork bees however opting into going once again for more zealots in here both players with one shuttle with two reavers same can be said by stork however stork like i told you he has no speed upgrade here for this shuttle 103 versus 101 very very balanced indeed it still could be anyone's game as both players are regrouping and stork decides to be a little bit more defensive right now he waits for an attack he waits for bisu he is at 
six zealots i believe it could be five while uh b sweat many many more zealots here for him he's actually above 10 zealots in here still he just tries to scare of course stork away let's just see are we going to have an engagement the observer is going to show however the position here for stork the shuttle is of course in the front with three weavers now here for stork as bisu decides to pull back a little bit we have however a nice shuttle here by bisu let's just see is he going once again straight for this position is he thinking that there is an expansion here let's just see what exactly his shuttle is going to do there are no more defenses here so he could even land into this position here we go two rivers but no shots are being made just two uh, probes are being killed but at the same time he's forcing here a pullback by stork causing here a little bit of panic even leaving his shuttle here is going to drop once again this dragoon might fall in here now he's going straight for those workers so really really nice job here by him killing three road workers here so stork needs to be of course very very careful as he's even going to take out this probe while microing here his shuttle really really nice perhaps stork tries to engage just to find this shuttle into this position but this with that shuttle speed so so fast he's of course going to escape here the aggression from stork stork still having no uh, shuttle upgrade here for him let's just see how many it's just two reavers versus two reavers in that shuttle actually another reaver coming in here by bisu but it's just on foot so a really really good uh, decision here by him perhaps he's going to go into two more reavers and another shuttle as both players are still trying to find a good position here for an engagement Actually, we have the same amount of reavers now, two in the shuttle, two, one on the ground. The same can be said here by Bisu, so the first uh, shuttle, the first uh, reaver connections will be very, very important. We have a nice flank here, tried by Stork, but Bisu very, very defensively with his three reavers already on the ground. It is very important to leave them on the ground just to get their first shots here. And Stork, once again, is pulling back. Observers is are in the air, the same or Bisu here, observer score, very very important and we could have indeed a engagement but no, Stork once again is pulling back, he is long distance mining all of a sudden only 31 workers for both players let's just have a look, there's a small army here this could be bad for Bisu as he could be flanked here, of course he has to retreat but at the same time in come the reinforcements, here we go, a great great engagement here, three weavers dealing massive amount of splash damage here, nice micro here with that shuttle, zealots are in the front, they do soak up so much damage here, as you see the dragoons are now being microed back, zealots are coming in, so even the probes are being pulled, massive amount of splash damage once again here by Bisu, and there's just one, there's just one uh, reaver now being left here for uh, Stork, so a really, really good engagement here by Bisu, even though Stork has started it much, much better here. All of a sudden, it's just two zealots here left for Stork, so Bisu looks now very, very confident with those three reavers, actually, against only the one reaver here by Stork. So what a crazy engagement here. All of a sudden, uh, Bisu has the advantage, but still he's not, perhaps he's not knowing this, he's not reacting all of a sudden. He just has to pull back a little bit just to defend it against this aggression but of course he could kill so many probes in here with those reavers so two reavers have fallen here for uh torques once again we have a good engagement here lots of amounts of splash damage against those zealots and really really nice job here by bisu this one reaver taking damage but he's being left on the ground just to get some connections against those zealots so what a crazy game indeed here by both players, uh, Stork really needs to rebuild those weavers as fast as possible. As uh, uh, Bisu even standing more on three weavers now, so really, really good job here by him. That engagement was very important here for him. One weaver is very hurt. Of course, the reinforcements should pour in and it should be uh, reavers here for Stork. Let's have a look how exactly this engagement is going to go. The Dragoons are a little bit defenseless here against those weavers here from uh, Bisu, Bisu with that speed upgrade having here an advantage, look how his weavers can connect to these dragoons given the fact that they have that shuttle speed and there's one weaver here of course being left for, for Stork, the shuttle is being targeted, if this shuttle falls uh, Stork is going to be in some serious trouble, two weavers are still on the ground and lots of lots of probes are now being killed, so notice that the speed upgrade here for Bisu has brought him here the advantage as he could come up 
and speed up against the the army here from uh, Stork. Really, really good engagement here by him. The shuttle is taking some damage, but here are the two rivers on the ground dealing massive amount of splash damage, and this could be the winning move here actually for Bisu. As Stork has fallen to 25 workers now, only one reaver being left, but Stork, sadly for him, his probes are making in the wrong uh, direction. Let's just have a look at this drop in here. This shuttle might fall, sadly for Beast, when now his reaver going to fall as well. So Stork still holding on here somehow. Really, really nicely stuff here by him. The shield battery is, of course, healing here this Dragoon, but more and more reinforcements are pouring in here by Bisu. And all of a sudden Stork, yes, he has, of course, to leave this uh, game, sadly for him. Very, very nicely fought here by him. A very great game here by both players, but in the end, this engagement here where uh, Bisu took out the three rivers, actually the two rivers from Stork and Bisu leaving with three rivers by himself brought him of course in the end the victory of course the river a very very important unit very very nice and it needs to be guarded of course and micro as, well, as fast as possible with that shuttle so crazy crazy and nice game here indeed by both players showing us how beautiful a mirror match can be in between two processes i hope you guys enjoyed this replay thank you watch thank you so much for watching i'll be seeing you in the next replay this is tommy signing out